So today uh, you are going to determine the surface tension of unknown liquid. Surface tension of unknown liquid. So before that, first and foremost, you have to know what exactly is the surface tension. Surface tension. Surface tension. Surface tension, the name itself suggests it is the tension experienced by the substance which is present on the surface of the liquid. The tension experienced by the substance which is present on the surface of the liquid is called as surface tension. I. It is represented by gamma. It is represented by gamma. And the units per surface tension is dynes per centimeter. Dynes per centimeter. Now let us see what is the apparatus which is being used in order to determine the surface tension of the unknown liquid. Unknown liquid. So this is the equipment which is required for determining the for determining the surface tension of the unknown liquid. And the name of this apparatus is stalagmometer. The name of this apparatus is stalagmo. Stalagmometer. Stalagmometer. Now the experiment is very simple. Experiment is very simple. Whatever the liquid whose surface tension is to be determined should be taken in the beaker. Should be taken in the beaker. And you have to suck that liquid, suck that liquid up to this particular mark, up to this particular mark. Now allow the liquid to flow from this mark to this mark, from this mark to this mark. And count the number of drops which are falling in the same beaker in which you have taken the liquid from this particular mark to this particular mark. Let us say that this is mark A and this is mark B. Now count the number of drops falling from mark A to mark B. Because there is a relationship between the number of drops from mark A to mark B or traveling from mark A to mark B and surface tension with the help of the following mathematical expression. I hope you got it. Right. So that mathematical expression is gamma 1 by gamma 2 equals to d1 by d2 into n2 by n1. n2 by n1. And all the ones corresponds to Standard. What is the standard? The same standard that is distilled water only. Distilled water only. Okay. Gamma 1 is surface tension of distilled water. D1 is density. density of distilled water. Right. Density of distilled water is 0 0.97 gram per centimeter cube. And N1 is number of drops of the distilled water from mark A to mark B and gamma 2 is the one which is the surface tension of the liquid whose which the surface tension is to be determined and D2 is the density of that particular liquid and N2 is number of drops of the liquid moving from mark A to mark B. Now by rearranging the equation you will get what is gamma 2. So gamma 2, 1 by gamma 2 equals to, right, say 1 by gamma 1 into, into d1 by d2 into n2 by n1. So it is in the reciprocal form. So converts into the actual form. So gamma 2 equals to gamma 1 into D2 by D1 into N1 by N2. N1 by N2. This is how you can determine the surface tension of the unknown liquid making use of stalagmo.
this is the liquid whose surface tension is to be determined and uh, this is the stalagmometer right suck it suck the liquid right now after sucking the liquid you can see it is exactly at the mark a mark a now allow the liquid to fall 1 2 3 4 so this is how you have to count the number of drops until it reaches mark b so this is the mark b is the mark b so to come the number of drops you see how they are falling and with the help of the mathematical expression it is amply clear that surface tension is related to the number of drops and making use of this number of drops just try to incorporate these values in uh, that particular mathematical expression that is gamma 1 by gamma 2 equals to d1 by d2 into n2 by n1 you are going to get the information about the surface tension of unknown liquid Thank you.